Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert between small numbers of any two number systems. Now, this will work for larger numbers, but it's especially easy with small numbers where you don't have to bust out a calculator. So let's say that we wanted to take a base 3 number, for example, 2, 1, 2. It's a valid base 3 number. All their digits are 2 or less. And we wanted to convert that to some value in base 7. I chose these number systems because they're not ones we work with all the time, right? We, we work with binary, sometimes hexadecimal, sometimes obviously decimal in day-to-day -day life. But we can easily convert between these two by just using the decimal system, our familiar number system, as a little bridge in between. So let's start by first converting this, this number right here to the decimal system. Well, in base 3, remember that we have, just like all number systems, a 1's place. Then we have a 3's place. And then tripling that, we find we have a nines place. Right, because this is 3 to the 0, 3 to the 1st, and 3 to the 2nd. So if we have a 2 in our nines place, that's going to result in 18 as a quantity being a part of our final number. Right, our next digit is a 1 in the 3's place, so we have 3. And then we have a 2 in the 1's place, so we're going to add 2 more. So our total quantity being represented here is going to be 18 plus 3 plus 2, or 23. Now that is our decimal representation of this number. From here, we can use a similar process to get from the decimal system to base 7. So in base 10, obviously, we have a 1's place and a 10's place. But we want to figure out what this number is in base 7. So in the base 7 system, we have a 1's place followed by a 7's place, and then after that, we would have a 49's place. Because we're just multiplying by 7, since that's our base, every time we go up a place. Now, since the number we're starting with is 23, I know we're not going to use this 49's place, because putting even a 1 there would immediately overshoot the quantity that we're trying to make. So you could put a 0 there, or you could leave it off altogether. I'll kind of put in a dotted 0. Okay. So then we have to think about how many sevens can we fit into the quantity we're trying to arrive at, 23. Well, you could take a calculator out and say, you know, 23 divided by seven, and it would give you three point something, right? A little more than three. So we know we can take three, but four won't fit, right? So if you're using a calculator, you would then say, okay, well, what is seven times three? Well, that's 21. So we're going to say, of the 23 total quantity that we're trying to deal with, we've taken care of 21 of it. So we can subtract those numbers from each other, and we're left with just two left over. Now we're down to the ones place, and so we can fit those two into the ones place, because remember, in base 7, we have each digit can hold up to the value 6, um, 0 through 6. So at this place, at this point, We've taken two more away, we're left with nothing left to process, which means we're finished with our number. So this is our final result, right? The base 3 number, 212, is equivalent to the base 7 number, 32. And our conversion is complete, having used the decimal system as a bridge in the middle.